Hey there everybody, welcome to the website waynedefrancesco.com Hope you're a member of the club site and I hope you enjoy this video. It's one of my favorite players. I never saw him uh, play but uh, I have ferreted out a few swings of his hard to come by on uh, YouTube. It's Tommy Bolt and uh, Famous for his uh, temper, <laughs> for, uh, fairly I think, because uh, stories about him abound. Uh, terrible Tommy, they called him. Uh, famous for tossing clubs and breaking things, but uh, what a great golf swing! A um, lot of stuff that uh, I have developed as preferences. I see in Bolt swing, and. I have not been studying Bolt for a long time, but uh, with access to uh, YouTube now, have gotten a few of his swings so I can take a look. And it's always interesting to find guys who were great ball strikers, uh, like Bolt, famous for his ball striking. He didn't uh, join the tour until in his 30s. He played uh, great golf for about 10 years between 51 and 1961 when he won 15 events. He actually uh, at the age of 55 finished third in the PGA Championship in 1971 so uh, he remained a good player for quite a while. Uh, greatest accomplishment of course was winning the US Open in 1958. So let's take a look at his swing and you know as is normal we don't have the the perfect camera angles to uh, to draw the lines but we can certainly discuss oh, what's happening here as we watch the swing um, now in order to do that I have to uh, toggle the swing back and forth so you know play it a few times all of these videos really that you find now are slowed down a bit um, I wish they were at regular speed, but they're all a little bit on the slow side. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, that's the deal. So, here's a couple of good shots here, and I want to point a few things out. First of all, on the uh, this sort of angled front view here, what we can really watch here is is how Bolt triggers his swing and this is something that I've picked up on recently uh, in just about everyone's swing especially the mat the old masters so what we're gonna see here is we're gonna see pivot movement before club movement so as far as sequence goes Bolt's swing falls in line with what I believe is the best way to start the swing which is with the the entire trunk starting from the ground up now of course you'll hear that the downswing starts from the ground up but uh, conventionally you're gonna hear that the backswing is gonna start without the lower body and that the upper body will initiate uh, sometimes with the club first in the hand or the hands or maybe with the shoulder turn but what I'm seeing here is not that at all what I'm seeing here is the hips pushing back and driving weight into the right now how do I know it's going into the right well when I do this myself it's kinda of hard to do this and not and, and move the club back to the right without pressing weight into the right foot. So if you watch, there's a significant amount of movement here. If I draw a line on the front of his right hip there, watch that thing, it's just gonna, it's gonna back up and when it does that, the club is really not moving. So you see a slight squeeze of the arms. You see both hips actually push back. So to me, that's what I like to, to call a 
either bowing move or you take the belt buckle and drive it backwards while keeping the right knee somewhat flexed. And you see the arms give a little bit of a squeeze. Now they start quite bent actually. And then they squeeze together a little bit. And then you see a tremendous amount of, of upper trunk movement and a nice deep hip action. Now if you watch Bolt's left heel barely up off the ground, maybe a quarter inch, half an inch up, and then right back down and watch the left leg. So when the when the heel plants, that left knee is already moving back and moving out of the way. And again, a lot of blurriness in these old old films. So it's hard to discern just exactly where that right arm is, but when I show you the the front view, you'll see. Now, one thing that Bolt really had was a tremendous amount of hip drive. When you look at this finish, it looks like it might be a reverse C, but it's not a hangback. It's just so driven. And how do you know it's driven that far? Well, first of all, you got the look there with the belt buckle going up, but look at that left foot. And this is a kind of, I mean, I like this action. It's aggressive. Look at that. I mean, that left foot is about as bent over as you could get it without hurting yourself. Now, I see people advocate a flat left foot at through impact, through the swing, and I really don't get that at all. See, this active footwork here just shows a tremendously active lower body, and that was what, that is really what drives the arms in the forward swing. So, right, let's flip over to this down the line view, and that's a really nice shot. This is the best shot of Bolt that uh, that I could find. The uh, camera's a little bit out on the ball line, so can't really draw the lines, but again, we can talk about what's going on. So here, again, you'll see the the, the hip movement before the takeaway. Again, supporting my idea that the backswing is best initiated with the, the trunk starting from the ground and using the lower body to move the upper body. So, also, you know, in almost all swings prior to uh, the Ledbetter Faldo years, you'll see the hands move toward the body, <clears throat> you know what some might call inside, but certainly inward. Now Bolt got the club up in the air so he really didn't suck the club behind his hands much. The face looks a little bit more closed, a la maybe Byron Nelson. Now if you watch his right leg You're going to see it pull back definitely and become straighter than it started, but not straight. Still some bend left in it. Definitely not as much as he started with. But that is a lot of movement. So if I just mark his spot, you can see a tremendous amount of depth going back. And again, if we just mark where his leg starts. You can just see the, the amount of depth. So, halfway back, and this is another thing that I really like in a swing, watch his right arm as it gets into the mid range of the back swing, it will really fold and you can see that it's just a bit above the left so the shoulder turn fairly steep like Arnie's swing we got the cup left wrist and a fairly open club face so you know that his grip was probably neutral not really that strong 
that's a nice looking position there now relative to his foot line that's probably a little across the line for a position that's short but if we take a look at where his let's take a look at a couple of things so if we look at his head here you're going to see the the lowering that you normally see with good players again not as much as of some but more than others moderate amount you also see a fairly generous amount of pull away a la Mickelson a little bit of Nicholas and that's another thing that you'll you'll see sometimes not all the time but the thing that I really like here, if you watch the end of the grip, and this is something I really I talk about all the time, is the direction of the handle starting the forward swing. And I've become a big fan of moving the hands out toward the ball instead of down toward the feet. So you can see with combined with that deep right hip pivot movement that outward movement there gives his right arm all kinds of freedom through the ball and again just another hallmark of of some of the great ball strikers now again because of the camera angle I'll just draw these lines for reference so it's it's not for comparison but you can see that we got a guy, another guy, who's back in the box, nice and deep. His left hip is even left of the box there. So, again, just another example of how these guys function. So, if we look at his impact plane line there, and we go back to address. Here's another example of a guy, and again, you know, because of the, this is not exact, I'm just sort of approximating, but you definitely can tell that he's not coming in real high, and the shaft is not way above anything. He's right on that shaft plane, and for all you down-the-line fans, this is not down the line. Look where it exits, so it's clubs over here. So, again, what you see, it's, a, it's a, just a ton of stuff that I really like in a swing. And, uh, again, I just report on this stuff. I mean, I really, I know Tommy Bolt was famous for being a great ball striker. So, I'm always encouraged when I see great players who kind of do the stuff that I have come to uh, prefer in the swing. So there it is, great looking swing, great player. Um, just died in 2008, but uh, one of the one of the masters.